This photograph was taken at the end of the first ever Spanish Grand Prix in 1913. It shows the winner of the arduous 190-mile race, Marquez Carlos de Salamanca, in his Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. His serene expression became the inspiration for the 21st century Rolls-Royce Ghost. The man got out of his car at the end of a heroic drive. He should have been exhausted, falling out of the car, and he wasn't. He sat there serene, relaxed, not in the least bit phased. And that's something we really wanted to bring into our modern cars. The vehicle's incredibly complex. However, we try very hard from the engineering point of view to get one button or one touch operation for a lot of these systems. It's one touch of a button to find your way on the map. It's another touch of the button to switch the night vision system on. The information that I need when driving the car is there, presented to me right where I can see it. The head-up display is another perfect example of that. It really is extremely easy to use the car. We took a car from Goodwood, drove all the way down to Munich in southern Germany in order to have a detailed discussion with the supplier to do some fine-tuning work with the curtain system that we have in the rear of the car. We wanted to make them as silent, effectively, as possible. It was around about 1,200 mile return trip, so that's like driving from Shanghai to Beijing and back again. We'd had such an easy journey down at the end of the day that it was really a, a pleasure to get back into the car and head home again. It really is a, an elegant way to cover a lot of miles. I'd like to think that if Don Carlos could drive the Ghost today, even though the technology has changed considerably, he'd still be able to enjoy that Rolls-Royce driving experience that's timeless. A 100-year-old photograph may seem an unusual place to find the inspiration for a 21st century Rolls-Royce, but it helped create the extraordinary driving experience that the Rolls-Royce Ghost delivers today.